Okay, so even if you forgot some of your basic math skills, you still should be able to figure out this math problem with just common sense. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and read the problem. It says, a car goes 20 miles in 15 minutes. What is the speed of the car? What's the car's speed? And we'll want this in miles per hour. Now, the reason why you can do this with just common sense is because the values, the numbers are pretty easy. But uh, if I change these numbers here in this particular problem to something more uh, challenging, if you will, you wouldn't be able to do this problem so easily. You'll need a formula. So I'm going to do this particular problem in two ways. I'm going to do it with just kind of like a common sense approach, which uh, probably most of you are going to take that approach. But I'm also going to show you a very important formula in mathematics. As a matter of fact, not only in math, but in science as well. Okay, this is something that uh, all of you should be aware of, but I'll get to all of this in just one second. But anyways, if you can't figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. Again, I'll show you the right answer and then I'll go through this step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so hopefully all of you have your answer. Not that difficult, but let's go and take a look at the actual answer. And that is 80 miles per hour. Now, if you did not get this answer, please don't panic. You'll understand exactly how uh, we can get to uh, or why the answer is 80 miles per hour. Um, and again, I'll show you two uh, particular approaches here. But if you figure this out, that is fantastic. We must celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face and A plus a 100 percent and multiple stars. So you can uh, brag to your friends and family that indeed you can tackle word problems, math word problems, that is, that involve rate, time, and distance, okay? Because that's what this type of problem is. We're dealing with a rate, time, and distance problem, okay? Now, you might be saying, well, I don't even know what that is. I just figured this problem out. I didn't know it was a rate, time, and distance problem. Well, yes, indeed, that's what this type of problem is. And it's a very kind of classic type of math or problem, especially in algebra. But I'll explain all these terms in just one second uh, if you never heard of rate. And well, of course, all of you should have heard of time and then, of course, the distance. But we're going to be pulling in all these concepts into a particular formula. But uh, let's go ahead and first uh, take a look at the problem again. And in any math word problem, okay, you want to get in the habit of reading the problem at least three times. Just don't read the problem once and start doing stuff. That is a uh, surefire uh, recipe for disaster. Read the problem once real quick. Get a sense of what's going on. Read it again to get more details, and then the third time, at a minimum, make sure you understand what the question is. Just go to the question mark and back up from there. So what is the car speed? Okay, I'm looking for how fast this car is going, and I'm giving some information about how fast or uh, how much it traveled over a certain period of time. Okay, all right, so let's go ahead and take a look at a common sense approach uh, to figure this out. Now, hopefully most of you uh, thought of it in this uh, particular manner, and I never said in the beginning of the video that you had to, uh, you know, write all this out in terms of a formula and whatnot, as long as you got the right answer and you can kind of justify it. But here is a good kind of um, way to look at the problem. Okay, so in any math word problem, you want to model what's going on. There's all different uh, sorts of ways to do that, but, you know, a good way to do this particular problem is to just kind of come up with a quick sketch. So here is our lovely car. It's uh, speeding down the highway, and it covered 20 miles in 15 minutes. Well, I uh, did indicate that we wanted our answer in miles per hour, okay, miles per hour. For example, okay, 60 miles per hour means what? What does that mean? If you are traveling 60 miles per hour, it means that you're going to cover... Uh, 60 miles in one hour, okay, per one hour. That's what this means. Matter of fact, 60 miles per hour 
you could write that miles per hour this way. Miles, I'll write it like so, per one hour. Okay, now typically we won't write uh, the speed or speed of a car or something like that. We write it this way, 60 miles per hour. Okay, so again, if you uh, went 60 miles in one hour, how fast are you going? Well, 60 miles per hour. So here we are um, dealing with 15 minutes. Okay, so hopefully some of you are saying, well, 15 minutes. Well, how much, you know, if this continued on, if this car, uh, you know, um, went 20 miles in 15 minutes, well, how much would it go in 30 minutes? Well, we just doubled this, right? It would go 40 miles. Well, then, all right. So if we just multiply this by four, we're going to get to 60 minutes, which is one hour. So I multiply this by four, that's 80 miles, right? So hopefully most of you kind of, you know, looked at that way you said, or looked at the problem this way. It's all right, well, 60 minutes uh, in one uh, hour or 60 minutes, the car will have traveled 80 miles, okay? Now, if you didn't see this, uh, no big deal, but this is kind of, again, kind of a common sense approach because we're dealing with nice, easy numbers. Matter of fact, a lot of you probably were able to solve this without even the aid of a calculator. Okay, so in 60 minutes, the car will go uh, 80 miles. So if you cover 80 miles in 60 minutes, well, that is what? Well, that's 80 miles per one hour because 60 minutes is one hour. So the vehicle is going 80 miles per hour. All right, so again, this is kind of the common sense approach. And you know, uh, kind of a uh, this particular way also probably makes a lot more sense once you understand this particular formula that I am going to show you. And uh, it's something that, again, uh, even if you got this problem right, you're going to want to stick around and make sure you understand. Okay, so let's go and take a look at that. But before we look at this formula, I want you to get, well, here is the formula, but let me go ahead and just show you my request for you to subscribe to my channel. And if you're going to do that, make sure to hit that notification button. This right here really helps grow my uh, kind of classroom, if you will. It really does help. And again, my objective is to get as many people that are interested in math or need help in mathematics or want math explained in a clear and understandable way into my virtual classroom. So by you subscribing, it really does help me out. Thank you so much. Now back to the problem. All right, so here is this formula that you're going to want to know. This is an extremely important uh, formula. Uh, it's used in math, it's used in science, but uh, here it is. Let me go ahead and explain this to you, all right? So it's r times t is equal to d. You can kind of see it this way, rt is equal to d, or r times t is equal to d. Okay, so what is this r, t, and d? Well, let me go ahead and explain this to you right now. All right, so r is the rate, okay? Rate just means speed, okay? Now, uh, in this particular problem, I said that we want to answer our question about the car's speed in miles per hour. So what's our what's some examples of uh, you know rate? Another word for rate, by the way, is uh, speed or velocity. Okay, so like let's suppose like a rocket is flying, you know, uh, through uh, space or whatnot. It might be going you know certain meters per second, miles per second. So you know uh, anything like that uh, where you have distance compared to time, miles per hour is going to be a unit of measure for speed. Okay. All right, so how about time? Well, that's pretty straightforward, right? That would be seconds, minutes, hours. Uh, then distance, uh, here I have miles. Now, we kind of have to we have to kind of talk about units of measure here. This is really, really important. So if you take the if you know the rate of something and how much time, how fast something is going, and you multiply it by how long it's been going in terms of time, you'll get the distance. But there's a bit of a twist here, and we have to be very careful with the units of measure. Okay, so this is the next part of me explaining, uh, you know, how this particular formula works. All right, so let's suppose that we want our rate in miles per hour, okay, or we were given our speed about uh, a vehicle or whatever in miles per hour. Well, if that's the case, our distance is in miles, okay, because we have miles right here, okay? So our distance, we have to have this distance expressed in this formula in terms of mile, if miles if our rate is given to us as miles per hour. And our time 
must be in hours. Okay, so if we're talking about 75 miles per hour, we're talking about miles and we're talking about hours. So if we don't have our time expressed in hours, we have to convert the time to hours. If we don't have the distance expressed in miles, let's suppose it's in feet, we would have to convert those feet into miles. Okay, so to use this formula, you gotta make sure that the units of measure match. Now, it's not only this formula, but many formulas that you will use in science and mathematics. This is a big, big deal. And now let's go ahead and apply this formula. All right, so here is the uh, uh, problem again. So a car goes 20 miles in 15 minutes. What is the car's speed in miles per hour? Well, I have my information here, miles. Okay, so I have 20 miles. That's good. But uh, the time information is in minutes. So I have a bit of a problem, but nothing that I can't fix. So I'm thinking about rate times time is equal to distance. What am I looking for? I'm looking for how fast the vehicle's going, right? What is the car's speed? So the unknown value in this equation is the rate. I don't know that, but I do know the time. It's in 15 minutes, and I also know the distance. That's 20 miles, and I want my speed uh, in miles per hour, okay? So right here, I have my time in minutes. I'm going to have to convert minutes to hours. All right, let's go and take a look at how to do that. So what we want to do is multiply 15 minutes by what we call a conversion factor. So 15 minutes is going to be multiplied by the conversion factor one hour per 60 minutes. Okay. Now it could write uh, this uh, equivalency or this conversion factor as 60 minutes per one hour. That's perfectly fine, but we don't want to use this one. We want to use this one, one hour over 60 minutes, not 60 minutes over one hour, because what we're going to be doing here is multiplying a fraction times another fraction. And the obje uh, uh, basically what we want to do, the object here, uh, the objective is to cross cancel the minutes. Okay, so this minute right up here, this unit of measure is in the numerator. I can cross cancel this with this minute down here in the denominator. And that leaves me with just hours. Okay, so I'm going from 15 minutes, or sorry, 50, yes, 15 minutes, I get rid of the minutes and I'm gonna be left with hours, but it's gonna be 15 times one over 60. Okay, so 15 times 1 over 60 is the same thing as 15 over 60. And I can reduce this down, of course, to the fraction 1 fourth hours. Okay, so 1 fourth of an hour is 15 minutes. Now, most of you would be like, yes, I knew that. But when it comes to converting units of measure, um, oftentimes I um, see a lot of students that think they know it, uh, know how to do this better than they actually do. And again, this is a pretty simple problem and it's definitely a skill that you need to know. All right, so now that we have our time in hours, okay, or converted to hours, we can put this all together. All right, so now here is the problem. We're looking for the rate, right, or the speed of the car. Our time is 15 minutes, but we need, again, we want our rate in miles per hour. Our time now is expressed in hours, and we do have our distance in miles, so we are ready to go here with this formula. All right, so rate times time is equal to distance. So uh, we're looking for rate, right? That is the speed. The time is one fourth of an hour. Okay, I don't need to uh, kind of put in the units of measure right now because I already kind of took care of that. So that's uh, the time is one fourth. That's equal to 20 miles. So I'm going to be solving this basic algebra equation right here. R times one fourth is equal to 20. Now in algebra, we don't uh, write our variables, you know, something like this, 2x, we don't write it as x2, right? So you can just kind of flip-flop these. Uh, so we'll put the coefficient, the 1 fourth, in front of the r, and now we need to solve this basic formula, which is super easy to solve. All right, so let's go to take a look at what we need to do. So we have 1 fourth r is equal to 20. So to solve for, uh, for r, all we have to do is multiply both sides of the equation by 4 and we get uh, r is equal to 80, okay? But 80 what? Well, 80 miles per hour because 20 is miles and 1 fourth is in hours, okay? All right, so again, you know, uh, most of you probably figured this out using common sense, but uh, if you actually use this formula, that's outstanding as well. Here's the deal. If you are going to be learning, you know, uh, certainly anything that involves algebra, 
you'll be using this particular formula you know over and over again okay it is extremely important that you understand uh, rate time distance problems uh, they come up you know again uh, you're going to see them everywhere it's a classic type of word problem all right now if you need help or if you want to practice more of these type of problems i have a ton of additional uh, word problems on my youtube channel but uh, probably the best place to learn algebra word problems is to go to my algebra course uh, you'll uh, see links to my uh, pre-algebra and algebra one course uh, in the description below also my other courses as well all right so with all that being said i definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures thank you for your time and have a great day